My name is Crystal Strickland. I'm from Fayetteville, North Carolina. I'm a military brat, so military brought us here back and forth, so this is home to me. My name is Samaya Siobhan Strickland. I'm in the fifth grade. I actually contracted COVID in April of 2020, um, right when it broke. So when I caught it, um, they didn't know a lot about it. I ended up being in the hospital for 15 days. Um, during that time, I had lots and lots of different symptoms, but the hardest part really was being away from my children. Samaya's so first symptom was she had a stomach ache, and when I touched her, she felt a little warm. My belly pain, it was, it was the worst pain I've ever felt. When Samaya arrived to UNC, she was critically ill. Hi, pretty girl. Multi-system inflammatory syndrome or multi-inflammatory syndrome in children, it's almost exactly as it, as it says. Inflammation in the body can affect multiple different systems. And so for this case, it meant that the respiratory system was compromised, the cardiovascular system can be compromised, and in some of its worst manifestations, that also means neurologic disease. That makes treating MISC ultimately very difficult. It's, it's knowing to recognize the syndrome and, and knowing to send off the proper tests to have confirmed either a prior uh, history of COVID because this is one that arises after the onset of COVID. Good girl, awesome job. Sis. We embarked upon an MISC treatment protocol that went really well. I'm just really glad that we were able to get her to a point where she could experience the rest of her life, where it's not just return to a function of life, it's a, it's a return to a quality of life that I, I would want for any child. Being at a lab where, I mean, the infectious disease consultants we were calling had just published research on COVID. The intensive care team was just published regarding their research on COVID. Tim Sheehan and Ralph Barrick, whose coronavirus lab by now is famous, they are at UNC. Being surrounded in this culture where we know what it's like to um, put out research to change the scope of the literature and to contribute to the annals of medicine, by the time Samaya got to us, the protocol for COVID treatment and MISC had probably been revised three or four times by experts who had been looking at the literature over and over and over again. That was really amazing to see. Medical research played a major role in saving my daughter Samaya's life. If it had not been for that research, I don't think the doctors would have been able to find out what was wrong with her and to treat her. Thank you so much. Thank you, Mom.